All right, so today was unseasonably cold and mainly dry. There were some flurries, but it didn't hit the ground. So that was a win for us, kept the roadways nice and safe for us. We're expecting dry and unseasonably cool temperatures to dominate again tomorrow, and then the wind shifts. They come out of the south, and that's going to bring some milder air our way Friday, and then they really kick up Saturday. We're talking about some pretty gusty winds out of the south. That's going to send temperatures towards 70 degrees, before that cold front slides through, it's going to bring a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Isolated severe weather risk looks pretty likely as uh, this front will be pretty strong and then cold air sinks in behind that. So another quiet day on radar as high pressure is going to be pushing through to the south of us. I do expect the roads to be sunny as you head out of the door tomorrow. Partly cloudy as we head into the afternoon. More clouds out west with those clouds increasing by the time you're getting off work before we start to see things clear back out. I think you need to grab that thicker coat heading out the door again tomorrow. We're talking about upper 20s, low 30s for the morning drive. And then as we head into the afternoon, lots of folks going out to grab a bite to eat. There's also going to be the Gift of Art Holiday Show out in Ellicott City. It starts at 11. This is going to be at Artist Gallery. We're at 40 degrees around the 12 o'clock hour where those clouds will be increasing. And if you're thinking about maybe getting out tomorrow evening, you want to go and have a good time, dance, bring some toys with you. There's a toy drive going down at B&O Railroad Museum. There's a Stuff the Train dance party. This is being put on by Chesapeake. Peak Charitable Foundations and John Hopkins Children's Center. Uh, there's going to be a DJ there as well. It will be a little bit chilly, so make sure that you bundle up, have that thicker coat for the evening. And we're expecting clouds around for the morning on Friday. Temperatures near freezing across most of the state. We'll see the southerly flow start to kick in, and that's going to send numbers near 50 around lunchtime, climbing into the 50s for a few hours, staying mainly dry through five with some light rain chances trickling in as we head into the evening hours. But that cold front slides through on Saturday. That's for that shower and thunderstorm opportunity cuts into the region and temperatures fall down to nearly a full 20 degrees by Sunday afternoon. We're back into the upper 50s by Monday.